Alright, good evening folks. Um, I did say that I'd do this properly. Um, so I'm going to quickly go through how I paint metal. It's real fast. Um, try and make it look heavy and worn. Um, I've already done the first base coat on, on this, but I need to put another coat on there. So uh, I'll take you through what I use for the base coat. I use Rhinox Hide. Uh, mix in a bit of black. About one to one ratio of, of those and then a bit of belcher as well. Mix those together with a bit of water. Here's some I've already got pre-mixed here. As you can see it's quite it's quite like a dark dark metallic colour. Um, I think it helps give the weapon a really old heavy cast iron look. So, I'm just going to paint that on there and uh, I'll go and give that a shot on the hair dryer. Right, so it's ready to apply a wash to it. Um, it's ready to, for us to dry brush it now. So the next, the next phase I do on there is um, again with the lead belcher. Get some on an old brush. Rub the excess off on some tissue. And then in a circular motion, just bit over the details. As you can see it starts to pick out the highlights, the raised surfaces. Now that I've done that, I like to um, apply a wash. Um, I did used to use non oil on everything and uh, after having a couple of couple of accidents with a, a dodgy pot that sends everything chalky white, um, I sort of messed around with different colours, and I realised that if I put sepia, the agrax, and uh, Jerucci violet as well, together in a little mix. kind of gives you, I don't know what colour you'd call it, but I think it works well on metallics. Now, just literally apply this in no controlled manner whatsoever, just throw it on. Like I said, this is a quick method. Give it another shot on the air dryer. Now we're going to apply two more dry brush coats. So get back in there again with the lead belcher. Try 
by bush head on. And then we're going to go in again with room fang, room fang steel. And keep this one to the edges. And then for the next stage, I'm going to use some foam, which I haven't got prepared. So let me just grab a bit of that. That's the kind of stuff you get in your blister packs and everything. Tear off a, a little piece. And then with the room fang steel. Get a small amount on the end and uh, dab it out on some tissue. And then get in there with that. Represent some weathered chipped effect. And that's what we've got so far. Now over the top of this, I like to dot it down a little bit. So with the medium, I'm going to add some of that to my palette. And I'm going to take a touch of the wash that I've done and add that to it. So it's really, it's a really fine, fine glaze of the wash that you've done. Coat that on. And then I like to use some weathering powders. I've got the um, orange rust here. Using my foam again, get a bit on my packing foam and sp sponge it on. Drag it out a little bit with a brush. Just touch up there a little bit too much too much rust there so I'm just reintroducing that line and that's literally all I do if I want to do some quick metal to make it look weathered a little bit rusty on the edges um, I hope it helps if not um, please in the comments tell me how you do I mean I, I'm, I need to learn myself <laughs> I'm just here to share share what I'm what I'm finding out what I'm what I'm thinking works well. Um, if you want to know anything else, want to pick my brains, 
put it in the comments, give us a shout and uh, I'll try and get around to it. Um, thank you very much.